Troopers are searching for a driver involved in a deadly crash overnight. A man crosses the street only to be hit by the same driver that initially stopped for him minutes before. Troopers say good Samaritans rushed to help him when another car hit them. This happened near 41st Street along Orange Blossom Trail. New 6's Nadine Yannis has been there following this all day long for us. Nadine, one driver we know has been arrested, but what about the other? Do troopers know about that other driver? Well, Eric, they're still looking for that second driver, that second car that ran into those Good Samaritans helping the first pedestrian that was hit right here behind me. What we do know is that troopers released video late this afternoon that shows this black Lexus. In fact, a trooper was trying to pull that Lexus over when it took off seconds before hitting those Good Samaritans. One of those Good Samaritans did not survive. We spoke to his family who also got a look at this video today. He's always out trying to help somebody. If he could help you, he would help you. He would give you the shirt off his back, the last dollar in his pocket. When family heard 32-year-old Damian Bradford pulled over his car to help a man who was just hit while crossing the street, they weren't surprised. But when they heard that he was killed trying to help that man, they were angry. I hope they catch up with who did it because they left him out there for dead. Didn't even check to see was he okay. FHP late this afternoon releasing video of that black Lexus they believe ran over Bradford and two other good Samaritans. It's taken seconds before the hit and run as it shows a trooper trying to pull over that black Lexus who turns and then tries to get away. The video ending just before troopers say that driver ran over the three good Samaritans who were in the road. They were there because of another crash that happened minutes before. Troopers say 22 year old Lazea Rivera seen here in a hospital hospital gown and now in jail for an unknown reason purposely did a U-turn in her red Dodge Durango and purposely ran over the first victim crossing the street before losing control and crashing into the store. The man that she hit also died. Now she's facing several felony charges including DUI manslaughter, driving on a suspended license and felony murder. And if you take a good look at that video that troopers released of the black Lexus, that driver they're looking for there, they have a tag number. They say that they are tracking that tag number. In the meantime, they need your help to get results for this family. If you know anything, call the crime line right away. Eric, back to you.